a fight we have up here. Again, when we made this fight, there's a lot of people saying this should be main event. Unfortunately, with unfortunate surroundings, this has become main event on a great card. Chris Billum Smith, Tommy McCarthy there. Love that fight. Yildirim Cullen, Fowler against Muller. But this fight is for the World Featherweight Championship. A massive opportunity for Lee Wood to make history this weekend as only the second man from Nottingham to win a world title. We can't remember who the other one was. He, he doesn't remind us enough. He'll be there on Saturday, Carl Froch as well. But a great fight against one of the most exciting fighters in the world today, the monster, Kanzu. And welcome to two great trainers up here as well, Ben Davison and Pedro Diaz as well. We'll hear from the champion side shortly. But Ben, massive fight. We know you love to break fights down. We know you love to talk about fights. You were excited earlier talking about Yildirim against Cullen. I know you like Tommy uh, McCarthy against Chris and Smith, but your charge here, just with a really, almost like a random opportunity to win a world title on home soil, as the days draw closer, more people starting to believe that Lee Wood can do this on Saturday night. Yeah, I certainly believe that uh, Lee Wood can do this. Um, we're very confident. Like you say, it was quite random, but fortunately enough, Lee had been in the gym. He looks after himself all year round. And um, he's very well prepared. This is the best prepared I've seen him um, physically, mentally, emotionally, technically, tactically. So we're ready to go. I remember before he boxed for the British title against Reese Mould, you, you sort of pulled me to one side. You said, I've never seen anyone punch as hard as Lee Wood in this division, even on a pound for pound level as well. Is that going to be the key to this fight? We know about the volume punching of Kanzu. It's very difficult to win rounds. He has to look for the right opportunity and take him out. Is that, is that the fact? To a degree, look, he's been in with other, other good punchers as well. So, you know, the hardest punchers don't always become the best fighters. So you need a little bit more than that. But like I said before, Lee's very well prepared tactically as well. Um, anybody that knows Kanzu knows that he's got phenomenal output and it's for us to deal with that. Obviously, I'm not going to go into detail on how we're going to deal with that. Um, but that's a problem that we've got to solve and we believe we know what we need to do to solve it. You know that opportunities come around like this once in a, in a career, once in a blue moon, would be an incredible story as well for someone that's given a, a lot to the sport. But you guys and looking at the odds from the bookmakers now closing in, certainly not here to make up the numbers. You're looking for Lee Wood to become world champion on Saturday? 100% I believe that Lee Wood will become world champion on the weekend. Lee? Now main event, probably some say where you should be as well. You've paid your dues, you've boxed for everything, you've been looking for a major opportunity. Who thought, or who would have thought, that the opportunity would come to fight for the world title in England as well? Tough fight, but as a team, you really believe you can do this on Saturday? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, um, it's the thing you dream of when you first step into a gym as a kid, fighting for a world title and winning a world title. Like I said, it's not going to be good enough just to fight for one. I need to win. I'm 100% confident in getting the win across the line on Saturday night. Worked really hard. Um, you know, my testament to being in the gym, staying ready, ticking over and improving with Ben is the reason why I've got myself ready in short notice. Um, my last fight for the British title, I only had a short spell with Ben. So I was working on things and I just did as I was told. Do this, do that. And I thought, I just trusted him. And it worked for the British title. Now, I've been back in the gym after that fight and I've been picking things up and now I understand what I'm doing, so it's going to play, play a massive, massive uh, key in victory on Saturday night. I know that you know many times in your career, you know you've had to take late-minute opportunities, sometimes short money for opportunities. When you look at this division and you see next week, Kid Galahad fighting Jazza Dickens for the IBF World Title in a couple of weeks, Josh Warrington rematching Lara in front of 20,000 people. You've got Leo Santa Cruz in the division. You've got Gary Russell. This is just an absolute life-changing moment for you. And those moments are all about taking opportunities when they come. But that's what you've got to do on Saturday night. You take this opportunity, you change your life forever. That's it. Obviously, there's a Navarrete as well with the Rubio. After my last fight, looking at my age and that, I was looking at pursuing one of them. I think Navarrete was the, the option I wanted to go for stylistically. But yeah, there's so many names at Featherweight. It's red hot um, in Britain as well. Obviously, next week as well. Um, but, you know, I can't look too far ahead. I've got to be extremely focused on Saturday night because all that can just dissolve into the ablation. I need to be 100% focused on Saturday night, and I am. And I, and I truly believe, hands down, I'm, I'm going to win this fight. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I know there, there may be times when I have to you know, take a little trip through Trench Town and come back, come back through it. There may be swings in the tide, but like Ben said, my tactics, everything we're working on, I believe in it. And I've got a lot of power. Um, I'm not going to be relying on it, but it's going to be key to getting the victory across the line as well. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Ben. Pedro, 
I'll start with you. Welcome. Um, also want to say thank you to Golden Boy as well and Robert Diaz for, for helping bring Kanzu over. We tried to do it before with Josh Warrington. Now we've finally got him in the UK. Such an exciting fighter. You know, people talk about his work rate. We know he has so much more than that as well. But been inactive for a while. This is a big fight and a must-win fight for Kanzu on Saturday. Uh, thank you, Eddie. No? Uh, I'm very happy in England today, you know? and thank you for the big opportunity in the fight camp. I think the Saturday is a very good fight. Sorry for the band, for the COVID test, you know, but good and Sugan, good, good, many men. I think it's big fight, uh, starting so uh, good. He has uh, he have big power. And he has very good corner, no? Good experience. The guy working with many, many champions. But a good big power, but Sukan is he has good defense and very smart too. I think uh, for the fight next Saturday, great, great fight. Thank you, Pedro. Zoo, it's been a long time since you last boxed. We talked about the Warrington fight and fighting here, but. A big moment for you on Saturday night. Now headlining the show and uh, a big audience as well. You ready for victory on Saturday? He's in the best state, and um, he wasn't able to join any fights in the last 20 months, but now he's fully prepared and he's looking forward to Saturday night. We've uh, been in discussions with, with Golden Boy before, and um, we talked about the Josh Warrington fight. You know, we talked about other fights in the division, but now next week you have Kid Galahad against Jazza Dickens for the IBF title. You have Warrington rematching Lara. You know, a, a strong showing for the British fans, and you could be back here again very soon. Uh, so now he's just want to focus on this fight because um, Lee Wood is a great fighter and um, he takes this very seriously. So other things, just think about other things afterwards. And finally, you are renowned as being one of the most exciting fighters in the world. British fight fans, world fight fans, expect a great fight. We'll, you believe we'll see a tremendous fight on Saturday. He will, um, with uh, Lee Wood, they will show, um, present a big show on Saturday night. For the fans. And I will take the victory back to my family, back to my country. Nothing can stop me. Thank you, Zhu Ken. Thank you, Lee Wood. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Pedro. This is a tremendous fight. The WBA featherweight world title. Zhu Ken, one of the most exciting fighters in world boxing against Nottingham's Lee Wood with a chance to make unbelievable history here at Fight Camp, live on the zone. Gentlemen, could we have a head-to-head -head up here, please?